Sage, Mushi, or Luna. Uh, let's take a look here. Here we go, nice block in the picture. A door of red already comes out. Cramming the quick liquid fire, dropping quite low, and he's just gonna go into Lake Nessus to stop that Black Seeker to going forward and kill his teammate here. And it becomes Keskill in state who got executed. As I say, having trouble dealing with the Vader Man as a 1v1 right here. Dropping quite low for the Ice Ice Ice. Just like that. Nice soccer teleport to the top lane. Now it's become 3v1. Sender Lucas doesn't have any single mana left, so they're just gonna dive in for him. Sender Lucas. Level 6, but doesn't have a mana to do his. Poison oh, Nova. Here comes the ultimate. Invoke and miss his Sunstrike. That was really close. Oh, the whole team smoked to the top lane for Minesi, walking up to the high ground. A half HP Joe Cam. If he gets Telekinesis, that should be it. Getting closer and closer. Dropping a Dream Point first on that Earth Checker. And that is easy because you get rid of the stun the first. No more Fister. Easy to kill. Only one kill away to a first hand kill. That might be the first hand kill. So Kess kill being chased down by the family. Yeah. Lose HP. Double kill for Mushi. Coming out from a tree line, pretty good cam. Talekan is back into the Eclipse. Oh, Walking up to the high ground for Jokam. Jokam being far by Ninja Boogie. Covered up with the view of his cord and easily kill him with the illusory orb. Cat's kill, running away. Not gonna be that long. Another illusory orb comes out. Dropping a green point and setting up the bright right, that might be the death of that ninja boogie. I can try his trigger this one. However, Muti just pick up the uh, ages and that might be another loss for Team Boom ID. 7 to 4 games gone, next one's gonna be this Venomancer, so they have to kill him before he releases Poison Nova. Now he died without using the ultimate for the next one's gonna be Earth Shaker. They're dying one by one, this is pretty much like um, a training ground for Team Mineski. Not looking good at all for Team Boom ID. Keep dying one by one. They're gonna strike from the side way. Having Dyer's a big smoke. Ninja Boogie gonna um, take a look at positioning. Jokem. They should not come down to the lower ground. That's a mistake made by Team Boom ID. They should have just let that one go and... Oh! However, they get rid of the stand in Moon and 5 kill streak have been ended. This might be a little bit comeback for Team Boom ID. They get rid of the core hero. However, the core hero also going low. Look how fast that Muji can take down the tower. Here comes setting up the Sun Strike. Everything on that Muji. He doesn't have the ages. It almost goes down for Muji. And here comes Poison Nova, but it was only hit one guy. 25 to 7. They're just trying to force pushing in. Using the gargoyle to shoot the tower, now no more tower. Mo Silence. Take a look at the formation going in for an earth take to Echo Slam, dealing decent damage though, but keep in mind that Luna still got an Aegis. Macro Pie has been dropped, but that, that is pretty much like um not a good direction of Macro Pie. GT has been called from Kesai Sai, playing Naya Prophet. Nana, Puck, Ninja Boogie on Lich, and Muchi on Marfling. Here it comes. This is actually the first attempt to kill the middle lane. Death rolling boulder in boulders. Man, that's gonna be the first blood. They get rid of that dragon. Daenerys Stormborn. And oh, pop the fairy fire, but he's not gonna make it. He died because the Dremersol slashed him down and also burned him with the flame god. Back to the bottom lane. It was Naya Prophet who got caught. All the spells on Ice Ice Ice. Once again, the Ice 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 falls down. Nah, finish one. Rolling boy in. Nice dodge. The rolling ball. The bonus man comes out. Uh, I don't think Dremersel can get away this time. Here comes the Marfling. They're trying to destroy, completely destroy the middle lane of Team Boom ID. Man fight right here. Caskill gotta run away. Getting closer and closer to his blink deck. Know, let's take a look at the fight route here first. Try to create some illusion in order to get away. Illusion, eat my chain frost. Penetrating core. The prize is mine. On the way to a dragon land, quite fast. Suddenly, Naked Prophet appears in middle, in middle of team fight and taking all the damage from the dual bread and also the wave with fire. He missed the damage of the waveform, but it doesn't matter. It would be enough to kill uh, Enigma anyway. Let's take a look at this one. Quite silent, twin head dragon. 
And I say, why Joe came coming in with the end snare, trying to stop that puck. Puck also taking damage from the dual threat. Oh! Sleep it out! One hit. Look at that chap. He's faster. But he got back. Now Rolling Boulder comes in and drops his Magnetize. It looks three odds. Only few HP left. Look at that juke. Now from Naga Siren Ultimate as he's still level 7. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Slide top fist comes out, aiming for that Nether Prophet, dropping a micro pie and also drew a breath. That's gonna be the quick kill on the Nether Prophet. A rolling boulder away, here comes we need a chain fraud, but don't walk across here comes the training for black hole for the first time. Muti getting rid of that K skill. Muti, a double kill. That might be the triple kill for Muti. Ultra kill for Muji, is it? No, triple kill for Dremel Cell as well. 10 to 11 game score. Here we go. Morphling thinks he. Here we go. Are you ready for the high ground fight? Where is Boom ID? They have to come back. The old slide of fits. If they don't play nice, you set on himself. Wave comes inside. Now that is easy tower taken. Here come Voider of the Knights and Central. They're trying to kill that mob thing. The side of the searing chain. The face of arrow. Everything comes out. Can mob regenerate? No, he cannot. That is. Hey! Oh. View of Discord. Rolling border on the high ground. Also dropping a Dream Boy. Uh, it looks like all banning rips everything just to kill that Mirana. Dog. Street ended by Japs. Now that's gonna be a uh, team fight right after. Taking a lot of damage on Nader Prophet. He had to take a sprout and teleport away, but he kind of stuck in a team fight and he died right after. You know, in Dota 1. Oh, now look at that. They're jumping in first. They're trying to aim for Naga Siren. Will he gonna use his ultimate? Oh, Japs stuck in team fight. And that is airball black hole for nothing. But he popped a black bar, but it's just enough. Damage to take down that Mushi. It's not looking good for Team Ineski. The Prophet trying to turn himself into the battle. The Prophet now take a look at the plane first, dropping a dream point on two, aiming for the Naga Siren so he cannot drop his song. The Siren dropping quite low, reading the chain for just kill one single target, and that is three down for Team Boom ID. Team Ineski is gonna push two ways. I'm pretty sure that they will try to grab the opportunity. No, none of them gonna buy back. They only have two core heroes left for Team Boom ID. 5v2, let's see how they're gonna defend. A lot of twins right here. The top tier three tower dropping quite low. And that's the clip comes out. Slide of his trying to clear the creep wave first. Mushi shooting on the tower. See how far they can take down the tower. If they can take down this rack, you're gonna have another set of racks as well at the bottom lane because there's no tier 3 tower left. That's the first set of racks for Team Ineti. If they die one more time, pretty much it. Rolling boulder out. Waveform into the. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Kinda dirty. But that's nothing you could do about. You can just deal more damage and then just wait for him away. Wait for him inside of the Black King bar. He's trying to get to the tower first before the next push. Now he get Black Hole in. You gotta come back full HP, full mana. Tower is still there, so that's still a defensive aura. Coming out, what are you gonna do? Oh, jumped in, stuck in an ice pad as well. Muji kinda stuck too. And also jabs, he's gonna die because of that macro pyre. That was a mistake. Really? And. Seems, oh my goodness, he's just gonna sacrifice himself for the rats. Triple kill for in your dream. Not sure if it's worth it. At some point, he might have to sell the Dragon Lands for the data last later. You Scepter. Kinda stuck in the searing chain for that puck. Can he face him away? Woo! Look at that! Holy shoot! Do you see that? That was next level. He calculated that Nana is going to blink away, so he was like, let's shoot that, it doesn't matter. Nana blink here, hit at the booty. That was cool. 
Now let's take a look at this one. They're trying to get the aces. Oh, look at that. Morphing is right here. Waveform inside. Trying to take out the rats. So how far can go for the rats? That's gonna be the Mega Creeps. Here come the Creeps and he's gone. Now no more Creeps. This is gonna be hard. They will definitely lose the Mega Creeps right after this. They just broke it. Now they're gonna push in. Are you guys ready for the last team fight? Here we go, pop the black team by and Prophet trying to get rid of that Mirana first. Here comes the black hole, but no hole. Oh my goodness, and Omen get rid of that. There you Prophet, Fire Emblem, Nansen. Dropping quite low for 10k. Jabs is the next one who goes down. They lost tools already, but for nothing, they need to get the Mega Kills. I'm sorry, Mega Creeps. They got the Mega Creeps. Whole team smoke. This is gonna push in. Still got an Aegis and a Black King bar though. This time, goal is the tier 4 tower for sure, or maybe some small building first. Nice one, uh, hit by an iPad. Now you go dropping a dream point, uh, pop the Black King bar, and a one man Black King bar on an Aegis Heroes. They're gonna come back full HP, full mana, now no more. Oh no, he still got one more. Black hole! Can he stop? He died right after. Pop the Black King by in your team, gonna be the targets. Wave forms inside Vegas right here. Oh my god, bot back right away. Here comes another set of Mirana, shooting a lot of arrows. Uh, and Japs went down. No more buyback for Mirana. I think Minesi are happy of, about what happened. Wave forms inside. Gotta do some strength gain though. Now finally using some of the sirens to setting up the fight once again. Dropping an iPad too. The burn all the mana, burn all the HP, force up himself away, and now he's dead. Muchi day and the boogie day. The slide of fits keep on staying alive. Then uh, the prophet get rid of the dead Naga siren. Finally goes down. Triple kill for Dremacel. Get samurai to slash everyone. Uh, triple kill. Nobody in this game got a buyback anymore. This is their last life. Waveform inside, where is Morphling? Morphling is right here, kinda stuck in an iPad. What a good time placing an iPad and a good positioning. He's still on a Black King buy if they can get rid of that Marana! Marana! Dodge the damage of the Waveform, but however, he died right after. Now, this is a man fight between Parker, 2v1, Ember Spirit trying to so hard to defend his own land. Fire remnants out, Waveforms in. Only around like 200 HP and still run away. And the creeps is eating the tower. Going in for the throne. They're gonna come back on defense. Slashing the throne. Dremaso doing his best to defend the throne right here. His country, Indonesia, will be proud. Radiance is Oh, Mushi going straight for the Twin Head Dragon. Here comes the Black Hole trying to stop that Mushi though. If Mushi die, he doesn't have a buyback as well. No buyback. Two Black Hole for Team Boom ID. They're trying to go straight to the throne here and there. Illusory off to the other side. Shooting on the throne. One hit. Are they going to make it? Yes. Mineski won over Team Boom ID 2 0.